You know, when we first started looking at travel trailers, we looked at a lot, we watched a lot of videos, and we finally came down to a few things that we wanted. Um, and then, for instance, we knew we wanted a small trailer because of weight, so therefore we wanted a Murphy bed, so we only started looking at trailers with Murphy beds. And um, we actually never saw this model in person. So it, we kind of took a risk. It, they were all back ordered. You couldn't even find one. We saw one similar, but not this exact model. So now we have been in our camper since March, 27 nights. We spent 27 nights in there and we have driven over 3,800 miles. So we've had a chance to talk and to think and to come up with things that we really, really love about our travel trailer. And we thought that you might like to know those. Some of you are still looking. Some of you are trying to consider a Wolf Pup or an R Pod 192. We see that question a lot. Um, or there's a new J Flight something out, J Feather, I don't know. So this will just give you some things that we really like about it and then maybe hopefully help you make a decision when you buy your travel trailer. First things that I like about our R Pod 192 is the huge amounts of storage. For example, in our kitchen, we've got cabinets here and here. We've got an under sink. I use the top and the bottom. We've got above the dinette three. Pretty hefty. I mean, I've got room to store more. Look at that, you know. Um, and one more. I've got things in there I don't need. In addition, under the dinette, under both sides, we've got storage. This one is smaller, and on this trip, I brought more than two pairs of shoes, even though I've only worn two, three pairs of shoes. So I like stored my yoga mat, which I have not used, and my shoes. There you go. In the bedroom, follow me to the bedroom. It's such a long walk. We have tons of storage here. Each, my husband and I each have our own place where we keep clothes. Ta-da! He's got one over there. And we have a place where we store various other things. I've got some Excedrin, some other stuff. There's also storage Mainly under... because her husband gets her headache. Okay. <laughs> storage under here. And if you were to pull the Murphy bed back, there's storage on each side. What, you mean to lift this up? See, so we've got like, I've got my raincoat, rain boots, scout bag some flip-flops, stuff like that. Then, in the bathroom, follow me to the bathroom. We have a, uh, our under sink storage here. Got my uh, happy camper, laundry detergent, toilet brush. Oh man. And we have two sides. One has a shelf, one does not. And then we actually have room on top. Those have to come down when we travel or they would fall down. So there you go. Lots of storage. Um, I did want to go ahead and show you the extra storage in the bedroom area that you couldn't see when the bed was up. So over here on each side, there are two shelves. See, so I've got a book here. Hello. And then down here, there's a whole lot of space. Like if you needed a CPAP machine, uh, anything like that. I've got my backpack down here kind of goes down a little bit and then we've got it on both sides back scratcher uh, nothing over here so that's some extra bedroom storage plus above the cabinets I've got my purse and some hats hanging out up there I also forgot to show you all of the pantry storage that we have here so if you go right here this is also our only full length mirror and there are three shelves that go far, really, really far back. So I've got some chips up here. Um, here we've got coffee and everything. And down here is where we store quite a bit of stuff. Um, if we were on a longer trip, we might have more food. But a lot of extra space that you normally don't see in a travel trailer this size. Hey, another thing we like about uh, our R-Pod 192 is 
for a small trailer, it's a 19 foot inside trailer, 22 foot overall. It has a lot of room. So for 150 square feet, we get a lot of room. One of the primary reasons is the Murphy bed. Uh, the Murphy bed, as you can see here, and I'm not going to put this down right now, but one of the great advantages of the Murphy bed is it will jackknife down pretty easily like that. And then we can lower this and this becomes our bed. We've already replaced the mattress. We have an earlier video. We'll try to put a link in the description for the, how we replace the mattress with a, with a better mattress. And there, uh, we, we've already told you about a lot of storage, but there is just a lot of room in here for a, um, a lot of room in here for a small travel trailer. It's one of the things we liked about it so much. Look, look, it's just, it's a lot of space. Another thing I really like about the R5192 that really almost sold me was the central vacuum system. Now it comes with a lot of accessories, which would be really cool, but since we're not full timers, we haven't bought that yet. But it's really nice. You just kind of sweep up the dust right up here to where the little foot is. Flip it up. There it goes. Bye bye, church. You're all done. Another thing I like about the R Pod 192 is the uh, fact that it has a microwave and a convection oven. So we have a stove, the gas stove, but this one is both obviously microwave and convection. So we have made cinnamon rolls, we've uh, made some other things in here in addition to just like heating up leftovers and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's got this little rack for when you use the convection and it works really great. Hey, another thing we love about the R-Pod 192 is the fact that it has a power jack and some other power things. Um, much, much easier to get off the truck and to level and to get the uh, weight distribution hitch off of it uh, by having the power jack. Otherwise, a lot of hand cranking. Uh, and it does have a, uh, an override, which I've never even used so far, thank goodness, uh, where you can just stick a, um, there's a it comes with a, a, a tool where you can uh, just turn it manually if you needed to. So really the best of both worlds. So that's uh, power number one. And it also has a light down here for night. You can turn on. I've never used it, um, but the light kind of comes on from underneath. And uh, then it just simply, if you want to go down, if you want to go up, it is awesome. And I, I know most of you uh, veteran R potters uh, know about that. And so that's great. Also, we have around the corner here, come with me, we have a power awning. Now we put it out this morning. Uh, you know, the sun was to the east over here, and so we were trying to get some of the sun off the trail. It's rather hot here where we're at in uh, Augusta, Georgia. And so we got it off. One of the things I like about it is that, you know, it, it'll pitch uh, different pitches. If you need the water to run off or if you need it to be a little lower, so you can take and pit. It'll pitch this way on either side. So uh, I'm going to show you how it runs in real quick. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it. It's kind of cool not to have to hand crank it out. Um, most of the newer ones have these uh, power awnings on them. But some of the older ones, of course, have a hand crank. And, and to get it in, uh, and we're always careful with the door here, but to get it in, we simply hit the button. And I like that part. Uh, and you can kind of see it rolling in here. And uh, we'll probably speed this part up. Hey, thanks for watching this episode about our five favorite things about our R-Pod 192. Uh, we have just really enjoyed uh, the last uh, 3,800 miles and 27 nights in, in, in our R-Pod 192. Uh, we've made some improvements. We have some videos out there about that, uh, like a new mattress, new shower head. We've put some bug screens on. We've done several things. So uh, we have some videos out there about that. And, and we have some more videos to come about some of the improvements that we're, we've made or are going to make. So, um, you know, it's not all about roses. Uh, in the near future, we're going to put out another video about the five maybe opportunities to improve that Forest River can do as they come out with um, maybe new additions uh, to the R-Pod. 
we hope you enjoyed this episode. We hope it encourages you to, if you're uh, new to camping, to go out and buy that first travel trailer. Uh, if not, uh, and you're going to upgrade to an r we hope this uh, helps you make a decision. So, um, as always, uh, we would love it if you would like and subscribe and turn the notification bell, uh, bell on with, um, to our YouTube channel. Uh, it just helps us to um, you know, kind of grow our channel and grow, um, you know, grow the opportunities for other people to hear what you heard. So, thanks very much.